New York City is famous for a lot of things. And Broadway, the Yankees, but perhaps most of all, it's pizza. And right now, you and I are walking in Greenwich Village, which is a beautiful part of town. Specifically, this, this is Bleecker Street. And some say the best pizza in all of Manhattan is right around here. And you know, on the Treehouse, we, we do it big. So we're getting a VIP pizza walk right now. Scott. Raj. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, man? Now, I got to ask you. Yeah. First off, you legit, this is your job. Like, you give pizza tours. <laughs> this is my job, my full-time job. I give pizza tours every day. How did you pull that off? Uh, I just really like eating pizza, and other people like eating pizza, too. So all I do is uh, teach them a little bit more about the thing that they already eat in ways that they don't think about it before. All right, so what's up first? Well, first, we're going to check out an awesome Neapolitan pizzeria right here. I've heard, Baker. what does that mean? What is Neapolitan? You'll find out when we go inside. Okay, okay, what's it called? It's called Caste. All right, let's go. So this is Caste. Uh, it opened just a few years ago, and uh, it's run by a guy who's from a city right between Naples, Italy, and Rome, Italy, which is really important because Naples, Italy, is the birthplace of all pizza. Early 16th century in southern Italy, it was a poor man's food. Basically, the idea of this was uh, a way for bakers to get rid of leftover bread dough and use that bread dough to cool off the floor of the oven so that they could bake breads the next day. So pizza was just a garbage. It was get getting rid of garbage. Now, Neapolitan pizza becomes New York pizza when Neapolitan immigrants get on boats and start coming to New York. And so this style came across with them on the ships. The reason it changed over in New York is because in New York, you've got somebody from uh, you know, Ireland living a few blocks away. You've got, you know, Polish Jews living a few blocks away. You've got all these people who have never had this food, and yet now they have this proximity to it. And so they all get into it, and now pizza explodes. This is the precursor to the New York slice. So it starts off with a dough that's just flour, salt, water, and yeast. But that dough has been left to ferment for three days. It's gonna be stretched out, and the stretching maneuver is interesting because all they're doing is basically patting it down so that those gases migrate to the outer rim. Now on top of that, that's just the dough. The tomato that's put on there is just crushed tomato and salt. It's not cooked, it's raw. And then the cheese that's placed on top is uh, made in-house right here at Keste. So this dough is going to be kind of a wild, yeasty, uh, really rich flavored bread. It's going to taste like the best bread you've ever had. Check this out. And I poke it with my finger. Oh, It'll so, pop so right back up. It's got a little crispiness. It does not crack, OK? Because it's only in the oven for a minute and 45 seconds. Now, the only thing that happens between that sauce and that, and that cheese is a little bit of pecorino and some basil. May I? Please. Cheers. Pizza cheers. Are you going to be OK? It really is that good. Mm. It's not crunchy. It's not chewy. It's not soft. It's not crispy. It's just perfect. Flour, salt, water, yeast, cheese. Tomato, wood, oven. You want to eat more? Yes. All right. That's right, you're going for another one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, check this out. Yeah. John's originally opens in 1929 uh, down on Sullivan Street, just a few blocks away. But then the Italian neighborhood kind of kept creeping west, so John's kept going with it. In 1934, it was on McDougal and Houston. In 1938, it moves into a spot at 278 Bleecker Street that used to be the Rosano Grocery Store, and that's this. And they came into this spot because of that oven back there. It's not a wood-burning oven like we had before at Caste. It's a coal-burning oven. Just because at that time in the United States, wood is expensive. Coal is cheap. Scott, I'm, I'm geeking out over this joint. I mean, this, 
The entire walls are just carved with names, man. This is this is some history right here. Oh yeah, no, and it's legit history. I mean, I love how looking at right the spot by where my feet land is so worn down that it's worn through the tiles. So many people getting up and getting in and all. But this is a completely different vibe. The music's a different vibe. Yeah. The neon sign in the front says so much to you about what it is. There's nothing Neapolitan about this place, but there's everything New York about this place. So what do you get at John's? Okay, well, they do have a phenomenal sausage. They do have amazing peppers that they roast in the oven every day. They do have a really good roasted tomato and garlic oil topping, but to keep in line with our methodology today, I want to stick to the basics. I want to do a cheese pie. So as you can see, a couple of interesting things have happened. Some charring around the outside, okay, which at Castell was really kind of blistery bubbly. This is more of a charring around the perimeter. You also see kind of the swirl. You see the spiral of sauce so that you can get hypnotized by looking at it. That's all because the cheese goes on first, the sauce is going on second. In an oven like this, this cheese, if left unprotected, could melt down and kind of liquefy. So with this, it's kind of been harnessed perfectly. Now, I've already eyeballed my perfect slice. All right, wait, wait. What? For real? Not gonna cheers me? Cheers. Oh, man. That's a much more familiar mm -hmm. taste. More warm and creamy cheese. The sauce is that sweeter, more punchy sauce. And the crust had more of a bite to it. Now, on the bottom, do you see these little spots? That's because the floor of this oven is incredibly hot. The coal fire that's sitting on the edge of this oven is heating up that inside of the oven to somewhere between six and 700 degrees Fahrenheit, which means when this pie lands straight on the floor of the oven, it's gonna instantly start crisping up and caramelizing little bits of flour. So what's the process to getting your name carved in the wall here? The process? No. The process is that you take a knife from the table and you apply it to the soft wood and then you put pressure in a back and forth motion. So go ahead. Hook it up, there's a spot like right over here. Huh? Now I know you're still hungry, so this is Joe's. Big old slice, completely different from anything I've taken in so far. Not coal, not wood, not a brick oven at all, but still absolutely dynamic slice. Now this is what I envision when I think of a New York pizza shop. Exactly, this is what it is. Small, tight little area. There are not really seats, you know, there are a couple stools. It's like yeah. tiny, it's a hole in the wall kind of thing. Really the best that you could hope for is a little bench thing. I'm doing two. Yeah. So is there a style of this pizza? The first one was Neapolitan. Uh -huh. Second one was just old school New York. Coal fire New York, yeah. Is there a style of this? The New York street slice. It's New the York slice of the people. It's the pedestrian slice. What's great about here is that the pizzas are always coming out so frequently. I don't know if you noticed this, man, but they only have four pizzas sitting out. There's a fresh mozzarella pizza, there's a pepperoni pizza, there's a cheese pizza, and there's a Sicilian pizza. Yeah. Only those four. So when enough people come in, if eight people order slices from the cheese pizza, you're gonna have another one up there in a couple of minutes. Oh, man, perfect timing. You knew that I was just getting hungry enough. These are massive, bro. No, these are this is the normal slice. This is this is oh. a slice. They don't, there's no small, medium, large, this is this. Okay? Beautiful things about this. First of all, perfect ratio of cheese and sauce to crust. When you hold it up, things don't drip off. You look at the underside, you see this beautiful speckling happening, and it's great. It's perfect foldable, holdable, huggable, lovable slice. Cheers. Indeed. Oh. Did you get a burn? No. You okay? <laughs> All right, so how do people get more information about your tour? Because I, I know people are going to want to do this. It's really easy. Scott'sPizzaTours.com. That's it? That's it. Now, how many pizza shops are there in New York? In, in all five rows, about 2,400 something. So we got a lot more work to do. Yeah, we do. Dude, I'm going to be back, man. Thank all you right. so much, buddy. Ready. Take it easy.